Moving on to B has to do with the wastewater treatment plant project. All of these, one, two, three, four. And the first one is consideration of approving the drawdown number three of CDBG funds in the amount of $21,644. Can I ask a question? Yes. How, how's all that going out there? Uh, very well. Uh, we, we've gotten started. I suggest anybody that would like to stop out sometime and see what's going on. The uh, primary work that's been done to date has been in the headworks, in the very head of the plant, and they are actually reconstructing in there now. So they've actually cleared a lot of stuff and they're actually rebuilding new. Probably in the next week or so, you will see uh, earthwork started at the uh, flow equalization basin. And um, there's a lot of electrical, or a few electrical components that are being moved around. And uh, so we're getting, getting wound up, but uh, it is moving right along. Thank you. Any motion for number one? Yes. I'll, I'll make a motion for uh, the $21,644. Second. Call for a vote. Councilman Hart? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Hampton? Yes. Brenny? Yes. Motion carried. Um, number two under B is consideration of approving drawdown number two of SRF loan money in the amount of $226,113.66. Any questions or comments on that? I make a motion to approve. I'll second. Call for a vote. Councilman Johnston? Yes. Hampton? Yes. Brenny? Yes. Rohart? Yes. Motion carried. Item number three is consideration of approving Dorsey and Whitney's bill in the amount of $8,325.60, which is the cost of bonding agent. Are there questions or concerns about number three? I move to be. Is there a second? Second. Call for a vote. Councilman Brady? Yes. Rohart? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Motion carried. And number four is consideration of approving Erickson's Constructions Bills in the amount of $112,806.56 and $126,000. $625.50, and this is the main contractor. Do you have questions or concerns on this? I noticed we got, just to back up here a second, we're getting all these papers here that, you know, people, the engineer has written off that, you know, this is what's been done, and, you know, they're happy with it. Because there's no way that, you know, I would know whether, okay, this is what they're going to do or whatever. Right, there's the man, yes. You bet. So you're the one that goes through all this. Yeah, checks and in, all these out, correct? Part of my responsibility for the EPA and for the SRF program is uh, my signature. And part of what my responsibility is is to look at what they have done. And yeah, I agree that they've put in 400 yards, or they've put in 65 feet, and it's worth seventy thousand dollars. And part of uh, what I do is check that and then I am responsible for signing for that with my engineer's license that says yep by golly it's in the ground and EPA and then the SRF program administered by the DNR then accepts that as a certified what's called a certified uh, pay estimate and then that becomes eligible for your loan money and your grant money um, so yeah pretty important that I well, make sure I do it right <laughs> Well, my question, I guess yeah. what I was getting to here, the say a project's worth a million dollars, mm -hmm. right? Just easy figure here. Yeah. And we're coming along here and say we're up to 900000 you know, mm -hmm. and you've approved, okay, hey, they've done $900,000 of work. Well, what happens if, you know, really they've got $200,000 worth of stuff left to go? I mean, how do you do you determine? Okay, they really have had nine hundred thousand. So, you know, if they pull up stakes, we don't get you bet. shortchanged here because I've had that happen question. on a hog house. You bet. Before, oh no, something. Very good question. There, there's a couple of things that you guys have that you probably didn't have in your case. One's called a performance bond. You have an insurance company's certificate that says we promise that we'll finish this job, and we promise that our contractor will finish this job. And if they pull up stakes, or if they go bankrupt, or if they burn down, 
this insurance company, generally a very large insurance company, is responsible for finishing the job according to the plans and specs. Right. So you have that ins assurance. Right. That's what I was just uh, But there, there's actually more than that even. Um, there's a performance bond that says we will finish it. There's a payment bond that you also carry, or they carry. The payment bond says that we will write a check to all the suppliers and the subcontractors so that you don't get stuck owing money to a subcontractor who can file a lien on the project. And then there's a third piece of the action that happens as well, and that's called retainage. Every time you guys write them a check, we hold 5% of their money. So if their uh, uh, pay estimates for $100,000, we keep $5,000 of that in your bank account. And they don't get that retainage by Iowa law until 30 days after you guys say, this is done. And what it takes to be done is a whole process full of things. They have to have all the uh, all the pieces in place, and they've got to have all the startup done, and they've got to have uh, proof that they are in compliance with all these different requirements we've got. Then they've got to have my signature that says, yep, I recommend this project is complete. And in those that big monster spec book that like reading the phone books, there's a huge definition in there of what that means, what has to be done, and what has to be complete before I can sign that approval. Then I bring that approval to you folks and I say, okay, I think they're done. I've got in my hand that the only thing left is to seed the lawn. Uh, can't can't prove it. Okay? I am done. They have everything in place, everything is ready to go. Your final acceptance. And if you folks go out there and go, hey, wait a minute, they didn't paint room A. You don't have to vote for it. Um, if, if it's done, you feel it's done, I feel it's done, and you all are comfortable, then you uh, vote on it and you sign on the line, yep, I accept the project, and it's done. And then probably the next, the next thing you're going to wonder about is, well, what happens if something breaks three days later? Well, they have, in this performance bond, they have a guarantee out there for two years after you folks say this project is complete. So if a motor burns up on a pump, that's a warranty item for two years. And it's two years after you accept the project. So if, let's say, they weren't able to get the job done, and they won't get room A painted, and they won't get certain things done, it's to their disadvantage because every day that they sit there, they're paying for warranty because you have the right to operate everything in that facility without burning into your warranty until you say, okay, we're done. Is that on their workmanship as That's, well as the parts? You bet it is. It's workmanship as well as equipment. Well, see, Mike, the reason I was, another reason I was bringing this up here, and I'm glad you brought that to our attention, was, you know, I, know, I, I don't know all the particulars. But I do know the city had some issues here with their pool, mm -hmm. with some water and some leakage. Sure. Or whatever. And it was, you know, significant. I knew it was, you know, rivers were flying all over the place. And I was just kind of concerned that we didn't wind up with a situation like that where, okay, now what do we do from here on out, you know, to kind of fix this? You know, because now we've got a sewer problem. It's not, you know, we've got to pump an extra water. That could be a little more serious and affect some right. people directly. Now, it, it's, it's a very important question. I'm glad you asked because there's a lot of things, if you don't ask, you don't know, and, and there's a lot of things on this thing. You're spending five and a half million dollars. That's a big investment, and it's a big investment to make sure it works and works right. Your pipe is no different. Your pipe has a, has a warranty on it, too. It's a little different than the plant, but it also has the same kind of protections. And so, yeah, it is a big deal, and I'm glad you asked. Uh, there's a lot of misunderstanding about how that all works. Did, did was, that cover? I was, yes, I mean, that was my concern because I just was no. thinking about some things that happened in the past. I was you bet. No, I'm glad to answer that. Hey, we were on number four. Sorry about that. That's okay. No, that's, that's good. You should ask a good question. Um, and I would entertain a motion. So moved. Yes. <coughs> um, second. Call for a vote. Councilman Johnson? Yes. Hanson? Yes. Brennan? Yes. Brohart? Yes. We'll take it. Thank you.